I'm back. Let's go. Woohoo. We're back. We're back. We're back. Okay. So today I want to talk about coolness, which is kind of funny considering that epic intro that we just had. Yes. So calm. Cool people are calm. Wow. I didn't know that. Cool people are calm. That's crazy. Wow. There's more to that. <laughs> There's more to it than just that, obviously. When you are calm, you have a sense of control over your life. You have full autonomy on what decisions you make, how your time is spent, and what people you're going to spend time with, who are the people who are in your life who, you know, you can choose, um, like other than family. The family are, are the people in your life, so you, you kind of should choose to spend your time with them. Cool people, people who are calm and collected, they walk straight. They walk with the confidence in their step. They walk slow. They walk smooth. They're never in a rush because they manage their time well. They never have to worry about being anxious about being late or about something that they're due, that's due at 11.59 p.m. They're cool. They, they, they have everything under control and they have good reason to be cool because they know all the things on their list and they take care of it in due time. And thus, this is someone you, who you should strive to be. You know, someone who is giddy, ang like not anxious, but just energetic. Yeah, there's a time for that, you know, <laughs> when you're making a joke, when you are hanging out with someone who makes you excited, you know, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with that simple innocence. But as a person, there must be that calm and cool collected nature of who you are. Um, and that comes from taking responsibility. Imagine like a lion wandering through the savanna, and he he's just he's walking around strolling. He sees some prey over there. Yo, what's up, prey? How you doing? He sees a <laughs> he sees the his pride, the the members of his pride, and he's and he he looks at his friends, his own family, his lioness. And he, and he walks, there's no danger that he needs to be worried about. He has all the confidence of the entire Sahara cruising through his steps. But how does the prey act? Oh, the prey is jitterish. They hide with other people. Oh, um, if, if, I, if I stand next to you, and if I stand next to you, the, the lion won't get next to get to me. He'll get you and I'm me. But they're not saying that, they're just thinking it. And they're just like, oh, everyone's going there. Oh, okay, let's go over there, let's go over there. But the lions, it's not that he stands alone that what makes him calm. It's that he stands with the ability to be on his own. He's not relying on his mom to pack his lunch. Like He's getting his own lunch. Like, if you kind of see, like, cool people in movies, too, you know, they walk around with confidence. They'll walk, like, you know, Batman or, or someone. They'll walk up to the, the police officer. Let's tell him something. Deep voice confidence i'll catch him like full control of the situ over the situation and not that you have to be some sort of superhuman over uh like crazy robberies it's just that like things you can control why not control it if if, if you if there is like like today i, I work at a, a lab and you know there's donuts all the time uh and like they had they brought like a big um like a dozen donuts, right? So like they'll have Krispy Kreme, bro. Like, oh man, bro, Krispy Kreme. We don't get that a lot here because like the closest Krispy Kreme to our, like my house and my like anywhere is like far. It's really far to drive. So they have Krispy Kreme. And I have a choice. Should I eat this donut that destroys my health? It's, it's chock full of sugar. It's bad. And you know it's bad. Don't cope by like... um saying it's like, oh, you know, I'm bulking. No, that's, that's bad for you. Can you control yourself? Can you have the urge when everybody else is eating a donut? Forget everyone else. When the donut is sitting right next to your desk and your laptop is up here and you're typing and you're looking at the donuts, can you control yourself? Can you look at the donut in your hand and say, no, and put it back? It's like... That's control over situation.
can you tell yourself, oh, this assignment is due in three days. I'm going to finish half of it tonight and half of it tomorrow and turn it in that day. So the next day I'm chilling. Can you have control over your situation to that degree? That's like a calm person, bro. That's like, and they, that's the kind of person who goes out with their friends in the evening to work out for two hours and laugh about like body pillows. <laughs> Although, you know, I'm not at this level yet. Like I, I did resist the donuts, but then I did go to my friends and we went like, we went doing some like pull-ups together and we went back to his dorm and he had gamer subs, like the J Schlatt gamer subs. And I put that in my water bottle, bro. I felt so nasty. I was like, I was like, drinking in the car. I looked at it, like my tongue is blue. Like, no, nah, it's it's not. But like, I'm like, why am I drinking this? Like, you know, it says zero sugar, but that's like, it's not actually zero sugar. They put stuff worse than sugar that makes it taste sweet. So it's bad. It's like it's like fake. It's like man made. You know, like why why drink man made water when you got God made water? Like, the best. So, I'm not perfect, you know, I, I yeah, I, uh, you know, my sister makes sweets too, and there's like a whole tray of them in the kitchen, and then you like, there's like one left, you know, I'll take a bite, I'll, I'll feel guilty, i put it back, like, <laughs> nah, like, I, I want to build my mental strength to a level where my, where even if there's junk food everywhere, if there's ice cream in the freezer, if there's cheese that's in the pantry, if there's like a, cho- a caramel apple next to the fruits, I don't even smell it, bro. That's like the level I want to be and that I'm going to be striving for. And that's the level I'm going to attain. Because if I can resist the donut, the I can resist nothing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jesus was a very calm dude too, you know. When I went to Israel, I realized how much he walked. He must have been a very thick guy, you know, like. The Sea of Galilee is massive, and yeah, he sailed across it a bunch of times, but like, to walk from Jerusalem to Galilee is no joke. That was, it's a long drive, and he, yeah, like, it's actually kind of crazy how much he walked, but he was never late. And he, you know, he, he'd get mad at Pharisees too, but that anger is not really like, it's not an anger at himself, like, it's, 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 it's justly directed condemnation against people who were religious but they didn't read the bible you know he 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 would tell them have you not heard have you not read this is what the bible says and the pharisees would be like uh but he is doing something that's bad shut up bro like real christianity is not a religion it's it's a relationship with god and you figure out who God is by reading this. And I only I learned this today. And actually from today, I'm going to have a new relationship with God with the Bible because what I've been doing has been okay. I've been diving into the word, yeah, but it, I, I haven't optimized it. So I'm going to optimize it tomorrow. It's evening now, you know, it's getting really bright outside. <laughs> it's getting really hot, really bright outside. So I might have to end the video soon, but you know, Jesus would flip up, flip the table over. Remember when it, he saw, like, the temple of God being used as a marketplace? That's some man-made stuff, bro. Like, that's the temple of God. You're supposed to be worshiping and recognizing the one who gave you food to sell in the first place. Who gave you the supervision, to, the money, to look after your family. And they're using it as a marketplace. So that was justly... That was justly put condemnation against the people... Just like how the Holy Spirit might condemn you for doing certain things in your heart and you know because he's living in your heart, he'll tell you, you know you shouldn't be doing that, right? You know, like as, as someone who believes in you, you know you shouldn't be doing that. He'll say it in a loving way, you know, like obviously it, it'll hurt you, it hurt your feelings, uh, but it's needed, you know. And there's more I want to say, but like the point is that you're cool. And Jesus was a very cool and collected guy. And obviously he was respected too. Like think of think of Palm Sunday, um, <laughs> he, wrote, he wrote it in style, right? That, like a mule is like a genetic, a genetic anomaly between a horse and a donkey, right? Like a mule. So that must have been the Ferrari of the times. Those those things must have been rare, right? Like how do you breed that? 
He he rode in with Ferrari. He's like he yeah, he's like going with the glasses, like the window scrolling down. Like, hey guys. <laughs> he was a cool guy. He's a funny guy too. Uh man, God is he's a very funny guy. Uh, and that's like the character, and you only know that if you read the book, and if you not twist the words, but read the book as it is. And if you're confused, keep reading the book. Because over time, in his time, in some time, you'll understand what it means. So, be cool, be calm, take responsibility, just like Spider-Man. Uh, and I'll see you later.